Welcome to the first episode on my YouTube channel, What Makes the Eastern Free State Lacquer. The purpose of this channel is to showcase some of the natural beauty, destinations, routes, events and companies. But when you really look at what makes the Eastern Free State Lacquer, then you have to conclude that it is the people. Daar is maar net nie een gelijke vir goeie vrystaatse gasvryheid nie. More and more people choose the Eastern Free State as their holiday destination and even their permanent homes and it's not very hard to see why. In this episode I did a day trip of about 220 kilometers and made a few stops on my way. I must point out that there are many other places that I did not visit on this trip and hopefully I will get to show many of those in future episodes. Keep in mind that I did this road trip alone with only my trusted old iPhone 7 Plus. No fancy cameras, no sound equipment and no crew to assist me. My day started early in Sienekal where I've been living for the past 12 months. The main feature as you drive into town is the 130 year old sandstone church. A heritage trust was formed recently to begin restoration to this beautiful church. Daar is soveel geskiedenis opgesluit in hierdie prachtige kerk wat reeds voor die boereoorlog gebouw was en ons doelwit is om die kerk sowel as die ADK-thuis te restaureer en oop te maak vir die publiek as een museum. Die kerk word nog steeds gebruik vir gemeenskapelike dienste, trouwens en vir speciale aangeleenthede soos hierdie dames ontbuit wat ons onlangs gereel het. There are several guest houses in town, but today I only visit two of those. People often ask me if I enjoy living in Senekal and the answer is easy. Ja, natuurlijk, want Senekal is lekker. And one place that embodies so much of the lekker of Senekal is Senekal self-catering accommodation. The chalets are situated in a beautifully tranquil garden and spaced apart for enough privacy and all are spotlessly clean and well maintained. Each with a bathroom, kitchenette, air conditioner, Wi-Fi, DSTV and a stoop where you can relax and braai. Or you can book the communal braai where we've had some really lacquer parties. Security is great and the establishment is also pet friendly. The owners Derek and Sunet pay attention to even the smallest detail and with their friendly staff they ensure that all the needs are taken care of. When I first moved to Sienekal I stayed here for over a month and I absolutely loved it. The Hendersons is the other high quality guest house. The owners Leanne and Aarons, who also do a tremendous amount of work on our community forum, run a superb establishment, including the lounge coffee shop. Here you can have anything from breakfast to cake, waffles, and even sushi on pre-order. I had a bit of a coffee snob and I think that the whole coffee is the best I have ever had. A good friend of mine, Renee McLean, recently bought the Wimpy and is doing a wonderful job of managing it. My favorite drink there is the chocolate milkshake, especially after a long cycling ride on a hot summer's day. Look at this pic that I took a few months ago. The other option for a good meal is the pot stall. They offer a wide variety on the menu and have a well-stocked gift shop. Not many people know that one of South Africa's largest printing companies is in Senekal. Wiranya Print and Packaging is a 100-year-old company and they've kept up with the times. They have cutting-edge equipment and over and above printing, they also produce paper straws and cups to companies like Woolies, KFC, Lavazza, etc. The bestuurende directeur Wimpy Hauptvlies het a baie goeie vriend van my geword en ek dink hy is een van die meest vrygevige mense wat ek ken. Another large company is Nutrigroon. They specialize in fertilizer but provide many other services to the agricultural community. The Kotsia family besit here in the market and so is Oranje Drukkerij, saai hulle baie van hulle tyd en finansies terug in die gemeenskap van ons dorp en streek in. Al by maatskapie is baie betrokke in ons gemeenskapsforum. The Senekal Matwa Bank Community Forum was formed a year ago and it's been great to see black and white taking hands to clean and repair our town. Sauda, so, 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 so
Sienekal offers a wide variety of sport and adventure activities and because I love cycling, of course, I will feature this first and foremost. The Eastern Free State region is ideal for cycling at an altitude ranging between 1,400 meters to 2,400 above sea level. You can choose from many scenic routes, especially on the mountain bike. My ginsteling route gaan langs Wonderkoppe by waar General de Wet vir President Stein veilig beskerm het tydens die boereoorlog. Legend also has it that President Kruger buried the famous Kruger millions inside this beautiful mountain. Other sports include rugby, athletics, soccer, netball and boxing. The archery club has become very strong and the Rolba club is nog altyd a baie sterk club geweest. There are tennis bane, mirbal bane, and a beautiful golf course with a very well supported 19th hole. There are a few beautiful hiking routes nearby, like the one at Biddulfsburg. One of the big battles during the Anglo Boer War took place on this beautiful mountain. When Bori Erasmus was here, Boer had a very interesting museum in his house. In die verte kan jy vir tafelkop sien wat ek nou nog nie gaan stap het nie, maar ek wil baie graag nog daai berg gaan klim. A German friend of mine went with on this hike, but she never realized that wearing running tights would attract so much khaki bos. It just look, <laughs> she looked a bit like a porcupine afterwards. After all the rain we've had recently, the rivers are in full flood and the countryside looks absolutely stunning. My route today takes me out on the N5 for a short bit before I turn left onto the R707 towards Marquardt. Although it's still very early in the season, we are beginning to see cosmos all along the road and I would expect that it would be incredibly beautiful in a few months from now. At less than 20 kilometers from Sienekal is Arizona. Arizona is a very impressive events venue, but I think its biggest strength lies in the fact that owner and manager Lorene Skimper is hands-on. Lorene's kunstige and praktische talent is oorals sigbaar. Arizona boasts a beautiful wedding venue with lovely gardens and gazebos that make the perfect backdrop for wedding photos. The venue can accommodate up to 150 guests and features a licensed bar and it can also be used for other private functions or conferences. The main building is separate from the wedding venue and has its own dining hall and bar as well as communal swimming pool. Dan is daar ook twee aparte lapas waar jy jy echt vrystaatse braai saam met vriende kan geniet. Guests are provided unique accommodation in a variety of options to suit their holiday needs. These include 12 freestanding units that sleep either two, four or six guests, each with a private bathroom and heat and eat facilities as well as a fridge. I just love the two bridal suites, both with beautiful views over the dam. The separate farmhouse which is suitable for 10 guests is fully equipped for self-catering and is perfect for a family or group of friends seeking a tranquil retreat. Lovely pothole free road all the way between Siena Cal and Marquardt and lined with sunflowers. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this green grass. We've had lots of rain. Apparently there's more sunflower in the Eastern Free State than any other part of South Africa. Absolutely beautiful this time of the year and, and the sunflower is not even at its best yet. I'm not stopping here today but 10 kilometers outside Marquardt is Sparta, the second largest cattle farm in South Africa. At any given time they own more than 100,000 cattle and employ over 1,200 people. They make a huge contribution towards the community work that is done in our district. 
Markwaard het een baie indrukwekkende aftree oort en as jy een heerlijke geel vetboltong soek is Flip Strijd om sy slaghuis net die plek. My only stop in Markwaard today is at the golf club where I managed to get a few quick shots of a school friend of mine, Tine Spotgieter. Ons het twee Tine Spotgieters in ons klas gehad, Blinde Pot en Blonde Pot. Hier is Blonde Pot, maar op ons ouderom is hy nou Grys Pot. En een ander vriend van my, Philip Vermeelen, is die bestuurder by die golf club. The road between Markwaard and Klokkelaan is one of the worst roads you can ever drive on. You literally cannot drive on the left hand side of the road anymore. Instead you have to drive on what is left of the road and play dodgems with the oncoming traffic. My suggestion when you visit our beautiful region is that you slow down and try not to get too irritated with the potholes. Instead you can focus on the stunning natural beauty of the region, like this river near Klokkelaan. Just look how amazing this is. My journey today took me away from Klokkelaan towards the Imla Nature Lodge and wedding venue. I was greeted by the hospitable Grunewald family who owns the farm and jumped into their vehicle for a tour of this magnificent place. Welcome to Imla Nature Lodge and wedding venue where strangers and friends become family. Surrounded by the picturesque Marabeng sandstone mountains, the cornerstone of everything Imla flows from its Hebrew meaning whom God will replenish or fill up. Elkeen van die vijf generaties het hier voortgebouw op die vorige generaties sukses in een ideale kultuur geskep vir toestande in Afrika. Imla offers a variety of adventure and sporting options. This is adventure tourism at its very best. The beautiful chapel is ideal for weddings. And the events hall can be decorated for a fairy tale wedding or any kind of conference. The beautiful sandstone farmhouse dating from the late 1800s provides luxurious accommodation, dining and relaxation areas. In the braai buiten is heerlijk om bij te keien. There are also other accommodation options, like this beautiful sandstone lodge, ideal for small groups or family gatherings. If you've never been here before, and there's one place you still want to visit in the Free State, especially the beautiful Eastern Free State, you've got to visit Imla Nature Lodge. Absolutely incredible. From there it was a short dirt road before taking the Tard R26 towards Fixburg. About 20 kilometers from Fixburg is the Constantia Cherry Farm Stall, one of the most impressive farm stalls that you could ever visit. The main feature of this farm stall is cherries, but they also have great coffee, a restaurant, lots and lots of gifts to choose from. And then of course, the tasting room. This beautiful room has such an amazing atmosphere, stocked with every possible cherry product that you could imagine. Okay, here is our cherry lemonade. Dit is een cordial wat je kan aanmaken met water, spruit of soda. Zo. Jo, is baie lekker. Dank je, kan ik mij nog hier? Kan ik pikje proef van jullie andere ook? Ja. Is heerlijk. Een van die mooiste plekken wat je op hierdie route zal krijgen. Ik heb zo tien maanden geleden die eerste keer hier zo in gereden. Ik was so verbaasd geweest. Kijk net al die verschillende producten wat hier is. Vriendelijke dienst, heerlijke kos. 
En dit is absoluut lekker. Net een van haar heerlijke gevoelplekken met Meibus en Ilse wat mij voor ogen helpt is. Hier is ons cherry lekker. Baie lekker op Roma's en om net so te geniet. Cherry lekker. Leeg hier in die ochtend maak ons proef. Oeh. Hiervan zal ik bij drinken. Ik denk ik ga die hele dag hier zo blij en dan gaan we cherry lekker heel dag drink. Wat denk jullie daar, mis? Ik weet hoe lang ga ik hou nie, maar dit is baie lekker. Hier is ons um, cherries in de keer, so dit is een kaasje wat ingelees is in ons cherry lekker. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Dit is definitief recht. Hier is het hoop in jouw stap. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, ladies. I really appreciate it. After tasting all of the cherry liqueur and everything now, we're going to be enjoying the rest of the Eastern Free State route. Fortunately, it's a little bit less potholes on this road now where they don't have to travel. Then on to Fixburg, the capital of our municipal region and famous for its annual cherry festival. Handmade with Love is a coffee shop and gift shop that specializes in handmade gifts. Owner Luzel Bontheisen has a team of people who make these gifts. They also have a great menu and lots of space to sit inside and outside. Jy sal erg nie verkeerd gaan as jy hier stop vir 'n koffietjie, iets om te eet en om te kyk na al die pragtige dingetjies om te koop nie. Back onto the R26 and now driving towards Friesburg and Bethlehem. I do not stop here today, but I cannot help to mention two really incredible farms that are both must-visit places. Sandstone and Boschfontein are neighboring farms. Boschfontein is owned by a good friend of mine, Morgan Barrett, and his wife, Tony. We stayed in the hunting cabin on his farm on a few occasions, with its magnificent views over the Maluti Mountains and Lesotho. Hier kan je jacht, wolpensuchtig en hike. Morgen zijn geweerverzameling is bij een drukwekkend. In het woord zijn Charles het zelfs meer geweren. Ik heb ook uitgevind, klei teiken skiet is niet zo so makkelijk nie. Ons het sommer tot baie laat gebraai en gekeier toe ons hier was. Sandstone is truly impressive. It is a large working farm owned by Wilfred Mole, who has a passion for heritage. He has the largest working collection of steam trains in the world, as well as 30 kilometers of privately owned railroad tracks on his farm. As if that's not enough, he also has a military and agricultural museum as well as thoroughbred Afrikaner oxen. When it's cosmos season, this is the place you absolutely must visit. Ek het hierdie foto's geneem toe my dochter Marie by my gekeier het. En Wilfred het al gevra my skuldery te ver van sy Afrikaners. Nou, ek klink miskien nou soos a rechte trotse pa, maar kyk bykie hoe mooi is hierdie skuldery. The road between Fixburg and Friesburg is also very bad, but again, if you slow down and drive carefully, you'll be fine. I found that I had to stop so often on this road to take photos and videos because it's just one of the roads with the most majestic scenery. The combination of sandstone mountains, green grass and rivers makes this one of the most picturesque parts of South Africa. Next stop, Shumba Valley Lodge. Just look at these beautiful dirt roads that are quite a bit better than the tar road I've just turned away from. Shumba Valley Lodge is a really tranquil place. Lots of trees, green grass, and you can just breathe in the fresh countryside air. This farm is also unique because it has its own airstrip. At the moment it's a little bit overgrown because of the recent rain and they haven't been able to cut it short. They have 20 well-equipped caravan stands 
and also a variety of cottages varying in size and capacity. And breakfast is optional. Driving back to the main road, I had to stop and appreciate the view of Fasierskerf, the highest mountain in the Free State. My next stop will be close to Fasierskerf, at the top of the Witteberge mountain range. Back on the main road, I head back towards Fixburg before I turn right onto a dirt road that takes me over the Witteberge. Life's a climb, but the view is great. <laughs> True, isn't it? How amazing is this view with the Maluti Mountains behind me? This, this Eastern Free State is just absolutely magnificent and I've actually driven over these mountains a few times. Never cycled here. I can't wait to actually cycle over here. Um, but absolutely incredible. Look at this view, man. Just You just cannot get used to this. This is amazing. Whether it's summertime like today or winter time, the view is great. You need an, I would say when it's wet, you need an SUV to get over here. Um, a normal car would maybe struggle a little bit, but absolutely amazing. Um, really, really just wow. Next stop on top of the mountains, a Nebo Mountain Lodge. Absolutely moeite werd om het draai hier te maak by Nebo Mountain Lodge. Rikendrie het is so gasvry. Absolutely amazing. It's part of the Sun Gazer hiking trail as well. Um, that if you haven't done that and if you enjoy hiking, it is one of the major hikes in South Africa that you really have to do. It's gras groen op die oomlik hier met al die reen. Kijk net hoe mooi is hier die sandsteen plaas is. En jy sal nie veel stiller en rustiger kry as Nebo Mountain Lodge nie. The owners encourage you to appreciate the peaceful farm lifestyle and therefore you won't find any Wi-Fi or television in your rooms. But I promise you won't regret visiting this farm. The rooms are comfortable, the people hospitable and the view is great. The road now takes me down the other side of the mountain towards the little town of Roosendal. How stunning is this? I mean. I know so many of my friends around South Africa always joke about the Free State and I always joke and say this is the promised land. But look, just look here. I mean, you can shoot a movie about Psalm 23 here. This looks like anything as green as Europe, even Ireland. Look how beautiful this is. This is just absolutely amazing. This Freistaat op sy mooiste en op sy beste. Grondpaie, you can sing Take Me Home Country Roads all around you here. Versierskerf in the achtergrond. Uh, nee, ek kan het nie genoeg vir mense verduidelik hoe mooi dit is nie. Hier is geen stad slavai nie, niks nie. Die enigste dreising wat jy hier so hoor achter my is die rivier wat afkom. Ons het lekker reen op die oomlik in die vrystaat, die rivier, rivier kom hier achter my af. Uh, ek neem aan die sy waterval ook wat hier van die berg afkom. Stunning, isn't it? This little section of road is most probably my favorite road in South Africa. It is fairy tale pretty. And if you've never been here, you have to take a drive to come and see it for yourself. On the other side of that fairy tale forest is another truly impressive farm, Moormans Hook. I'm not stopping here today, but I've been on the farm when we went to hike to the top of Fasierskerf. When we hiked up there, it was winter time and it was a little hazy due to the felt fires. But this is one hike that must be on your bucket list if you are fit enough. The highest mountain in the Free State and with this 360 degree view, it is truly magnificent. Moormans Hook is a luxury wedding venue, famous for the hundreds of horses that gallop past the guests. It is also a working farm with plenty of game and it also offers team building and adventure camps horse riding and mountain bike trails. Situated between Moormanshoek and Roosendal is a farm called Mosemani, which is Sutu for meerkat. 
Again, I don't stop here today, but I've hiked here twice before. And I think this is my favorite hike in the whole of South Africa. The trail is well maintained and marked out. It requires a fair amount of fitness if you want to do the full 12 kilometers, but I promise you that every step is well worth it. The first part is next to a river with deep ground erosion. Then through a forest before you ascend the sandstone cliffs. This hike is famous for the owl's eyes. Two circular caves next to each other that looks like owl eyes. Then on to Roosendal. So Roosendal only has one third road and the rest are dirt roads, but it's such a nice place. The homes are far enough apart that they've actually got some nice privacy. Many of the homes here are off the grid. Um, and it's just quite a creative place as well. Arty, many artists, and um, actually a lot of businessmen from Joburg live here now because they've realized you don't have to live in the city in order to run your business. First stop, Benjamin's, world famous for its waffles. Former Gauteng journalist Lika Magnus recently bought Benjamin's after she moved to Roosendal. There's a deli and gift shop inside, the staff are friendly, and by the time I arrived here, I needed a good cup of coffee. The menu is great, but the waffles are the best in the world. You can choose from a variety of different waffles, ranging from savory to sweet. So without a shadow of doubt, the waffles at Benjamin's is definitely the best in the world. And if you don't believe me, you've got to come and try it. So you can't actually contest the fact that I'm saying that the waffles are the best in the world, unless you actually try the, the waffles at Benjamin's. A short drive to the edge of town takes you to Opidam. Ik heb nou al een hele paar keer hier bij Opidam ontbijt gehad of koffie kom drink, koek geëet en elke keer was het nog fantastisch geweest. En hier het een baie wonderlijke menu hier zo. En afgezien van die menu, hulle doen ook moeite met hoe hulle die goed present. Soos jy kyk in die borde kost, is rarig fenomenaal lekker, maar is ook mooi. You really can't go wrong to come and have some breakfast, some lunch, or maybe just cake and tea or coffee at Opidam, absolutely magnificent. You gotta come and visit this place. On a recent visit to Opidam, I had friends from Sienekal, Germany and Cape Town, and everyone agreed, Opidam is lekker. I love the decor and the atmosphere, and even the toilets are artistically decorated. The last stop in Roosendal is Jolla's restaurant and theatre. Jolla krijgt het recht om een great geest te skep in haar restaurant en sy is meeste van die tijd self daar om die mense te bedien. They serve Darling Brew craft beer on tap here that I really enjoyed and their menu is impressive and well priced. Jolla verkoop ook een weie verscheidenheid van mooi goed in haar winkel. As I was about to drive away it started raining again making the road back to Sienekal even more dramatic than usual. Unfortunately, the road between Roosendal and Sienekal is even worse than the roads I showed earlier, so please be careful when you drive here. Back in Sienekal, I quickly pop into Cheetahs. I won't eat here tonight because my cycling friend Rian Kotsia invited me to Bry on their nearby farm, but Cheetahs have great steak and pizzas. And the bar is also a great place to meet friends. The sun was setting as I drove through Sienekal on my way to Rian and Marisa's farm. 
I was exhausted after the long day on the road. But what can you say when God treats you to a sunset that is as spectacular as this? And it feels so much lekker om in die vrye staat te wees. Tot volgende keer, a lekker aand vir julle amal. A robale hand le. Have a wonderful evening and I hope you enjoyed traveling through our beautiful region.